I'm so excited to have two legends here on the Trend Talk. You are the woman behind Wendy, Wendy. from Peter Pan, yes. and you're also the woman behind Alice yes. from Alice in Wonderland. Yes. I had that marvelous opportunity to play the voice of Alice in Alice in Wonderland, and that, because it's an animated production, then it, it takes a lot longer to make a film of that sort. I was there until I was 13 or 14, and that's, they had already been doing storyboards and working on the next production, the next production being Peter Pan. And so for them it was almost a given, and I was amazed at thinking, oh my gosh, they're really going to have me play in the next movie as well, right. because Wendy was about, you know, adolescent age, right. and by the time we finished with Alice in Wonderland, I was about that same age, and it just worked out. Right. <laughs> and, right, and not only did you give your voice to the character, but you also were the model. You served kind of as the model yes. for the character. So yes. I, I'm curious, now we do things a lot different, but back in that time when the animators had to literally sketch, no, how did that work? First of all, you uh, did the voice work, right. so that was the recording. Then when that was finished, a little while later, then you went into the studio, the, the theater stage, and we did um, rehearsals, and then there was the shooting day when the cameras and everything was brought in. And then we would do the scenes. However, differently from regular live action movies, there really were hardly any sets. They were just very small pieces just to give you the image of what is really there. And you know, you look at that arc light and that's going to be uh, Peter Pan and you're looking over here and it's going to be something else. And you know, you imagine all of this right. while you're playing the roles. Right. So, but we did the live action because that was also for inspiration to the artists, they could see the movements right. of all the things, especially with the flying, <laughs> so that it looked realistic. Mindy, as a historian for you know everything Disney, why do you think Peter Pan is still trending? You know, 65 years later. It's a story that speaks to imagination mm -hmm. in all ages, but but particularly that real subtle moment as you're moving from adolescent into adulthood. And we all experience that as humans, so we can all identify with that, with the fears and the excitement, and are we going to have to give up our imagination and our advent sense of adventure? Not necessarily. Not right. But this is a wonderful, charming, timeless story that helps us understand that. Never, never land, right? <laughs> and obviously, you know, that, as you mentioned, that movie's timeless, like many Disney movies are timeless, but I'm curious, you also wrote a book called Ink and Paint, The Women of Walt Disney's Animation. I'm curious, how do you think the role of females has evolved or changed a little bit um, within the Disney animation sphere? Walt was very progressive for women. We still, granted today, we still have glass ceilings that we need to shatter in certain aspects of animation. But what's been so exciting about this is to um, meet these women to learn that women were everywhere and everywhere from the very beginning. Uh, in fact, the very first employee of the Walt Disney Company was a woman, wow. whereas other animation studios, it was all men. And the presence of women was much wider, richer, and deeper than anyone ever realized because we never looked at that. We focused on the men. On Peter Pan especially, about half of the production staff were women. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Do you think also the characters within the movies have evolved, the yes. female characters? Yeah. We have to look at some of these characters in context, what the attitudes were in the 30s, 40s, mm -hmm. 50s, 60s. But mm -hmm. in many ways, uh, Walt worked to infuse not only a timeless sense, but, a, but an inner strength in many of these characters. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we see, we see progression, mm -hmm. we see evolution. Certainly Wendy and Tinkerbell, I mean, Prior to that, where were, where were young girls getting to fly off on adventures with <laughs> pirates and, and, you know, tree yeah. forts and, and point. <laughs> mermaids, right? Yes. That's pretty remarkable for the 1950s. And is there one line that people always ask you to say? Oh, oh how about, I can fly! <laughs> oh, I can fly, we all want to fly. We can fly, we can fly, we can fly! We can fly.